This lesson was inspired by Christine P, who made a post at Mahjong That's It Facebook group. If you haven't heard about that Facebook group yet, look for a link below the video and consider joining. It is the largest Facebook group for Mahjong enthusiasts, and I highly recommend it. So her post was about a game that she recently played where she was dealt five jokers. Five. And was a little perplexed as to how to start. She had no multiples. So in this game of solitaire, I am going to start one of the players off with five jokers and we're going to force a quint. You can make any hand work probably, but this time we're going to pre-select the quint category and force a quint. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. For this solitaire game, we're going to be using the Mock American Mahjong card. This card has been created so that it is timeless and generic. Look for a link below the video so that you can download it and follow along. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player one will get 14 tiles. Players two, three, and four will get 13 each. Then we're gonna look at each player's hand and see where the strengths lie. One of the players will start off with five jokers. Everybody has their tiles. Let's look and see what we can do for player one. Four flowers, pair of sixes, pung of fours, two, four, six. Let's look and see if there's a four flower hand in two, four, six, eight. There is in one suit. Four flowers, two, four, six, eight, pair, pair, pung, pung, third hand down. There's no single or mixed suit four flower hand there. We could play an addition hand, four flowers, six, four, 10 in mixed suit. Wow, look at that. They're one, two away from being set. Let's pass those three and go for an addition hand. Six plus four equals 10. Okay, this will be interesting. Let's look and see what we can do for player two. Okay, for this player, we have one, seven, eight, one, pong, two, three, six, three, four, eight, nine. I'm thinking little numbers. one through five eventually. Or we could do maybe little odds, one, three, five. All the one, three, fives are either one, three, five or five, seven, nine, except one, the very first hand, which is one, three, five, seven, nine in one suit. And we don't have those bigger numbers. So let's focus on consecutive run or little odds. And then let's pass one of each suit. And now let's look and see what we can do for our quint player. We have a pair of Souths, five, five, six, nine, four, seven. Now the quints, there are four of them. One is consecutive run in one suit. We do have a five, six. There is another one here that's got potential, four, seven. We have like numbers with fives potential second hand down. We have no dragons though. Then we have north and south with dragons and flowers. Pairs, pairs of dragons, pairs of flowers for north and south or east and west. So because of that, 
I think we should break up the South. And we have to pick one of these. Let's pick the five, six, because we could also maybe play like numbers. And that way we can pass, let's say, a seven. Or maybe we make it a little better and give up a four. Pass the six, nine, four. So let's say the like number quint or the consecutive quint, one or the other. And let's look and see what we can do for player four. For this player, they have no multiples. As far as patterns, they do have all the two, four, six, eight. Since this is 2019, we could even potentially play a year hand. The year hands on the mock card use dragons in every instance, dragons and news, of which we have none. So I think we should go for 2468. Let's play 2468. 2468 will just gather until we run out of discards. So here we can pass one of each suit, 195. All right, we're ready to do the Charleston. So we're going to pass east to south, south to west, west to north, and north down to east. So here we were looking for 6410. We didn't get any keepers. We need a six bam specifically. We've committed to a hand here, which has no gaps. We picked up a two. Now we have two multiples, one, two. We really don't have to pick a hand yet. Here we picked up a six and here's a seven. So we have five, six, five, six. We're forcing a quint. So the first hand or the second hand, like numbers with sevens, hoping to get sevens, or we could do fives or sixes. Let's give up on a five and go with a six. Fives are in the middle of the sequence. They are more likely to be used. So if we get onto the, the edge of the range, maybe we'll be more likely to pick up sixes than fives. Here's a four and we have tiles we can pass. Okay, they got their first multiple, two, four, right there, four. Let's see what happens. We don't have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. So now we're going to do the next pass. The next pass is going to be across. East will pass to west, and west down to east, and then north and south pass. We picked up a five south nine. We're looking for six bam and a white dragon specifically. Little numbers, we got big numbers. Oh, we got a five. Oh, shoot. Okay, so a five came back. Five went out. Maybe it will come back. So let's go the other way and give up a six. No keepers. Well, no, we got an eight. But here now is a pair. So let's see what we have the most of here. Six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The mixed suit two, four, six, eight hands, there are three of them in that category. And there's even a pair hand with dragons, but we do not have dragons and we have a joker. So I would not consider playing a pair hand. I think we should do a mixed suit hand. There are two mixed suit hands with flowers. Fourth hand down and fifth hand down. I think we should look at two, four, six, eight with dragons. And we do have a joker, but we do have one flower that might help us. If we did two, four, because that's where our multiple is, six, eight, or six, eight, we can free up some tiles to pass. 
since we do have seven, eight, nine, let's just think about this here. There's twos. We need to make a choice one way or another. Two, six, two, four, four, six, two, eight, two, four, six, eight. Let's keep the one suit potential and give up a seven and break up the nine. Let's just focus on two, four, six, eight. We can maybe break up the dots a bit. Okay, we're ready to go. First left, east, up to north. North to south, south to west, west to east. No keepers. That's what happens when you picked a hand right away. You get no keepers. Little number right here, one. And we have tiles to pass. Now this is a little risky. Six, eight, nine, and one suit. I think we should break that up. One, one. I wonder if there's a one, two, one, two option. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Second hand from the bottom. One, two, three, four, five. But this is a, this is a pong. One, two, dragon, fourth hand down. I don't know. I think maybe even we should consider playing like numbers with ones. One, two, three. Either way, I want to keep my like number options open and my consecutive run open. Let's pass those three. We got a seven. We finally got some headway here, like numbers. Like numbers, all we really need is a dragon in there. Let's pass those three. Or let's pass those three, maybe the five will come back. We're looking for evens, so we can pass those. All right, we did first left now. We're going to do second left, east to north. North to south, south to west, west to east. No keepers. We can break this up. That's risky no matter how you slice it, I think. Ooh, we got a two. One, two, three, four, six. Yeah, let's give up the four. Focus on one suit or like numbers. One, two, three. We might need to use this as joker bait. If you don't know about joker bait, look for a link below the video for that. There are three videos that explain joker bait. It's a way to get jokers in your hand during the pick and discard phase of the game. You basically discard one to coax an exposure with a joker and use the second one on your next turn to exchange. Okay, here we picked up a five. Now we're in between sevens and fives. Fives were going around. So let's go ahead and give up the seven. Here we were doing two, four, six, eight, and big numbers keep coming in. There's two tiles to pass. Let's give up the six and keep the big numbers. So we did second left. Now we're going across east and west and then north and south. No keepers here. Six. I don't think we can use that six. We might be able to use the two. It is consecutive, but we have like numbers, so I would not do that. We'll keep our joker bait and focus on one suit. We didn't get any keepers here. We're looking for fives. Here we got a four, six, but here we're really focused on two, four, eight. Maybe we could keep the four. We could always fall back on like numbers. Let's pass the seven. So that was a cross. Now we're gonna do last right. East 
to south, south to west. Oops. West to north, and then north down to east. No keepers. <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> No keepers. We got a six consecutive run quint. We have tiles we can pass. Let's keep consecutive run an option and break up the seven. Now let's give up the six. Maybe the seven will come back. Oh, we got a four. Two, four, eight. We could use this maybe for the six or play like numbers with fours. Or we could play something consecutive with three, four, two, three, four. We don't have dragons and the, some of the mixed suit hands use dragons in consecutive run. We did get that pair back, but I think this Pung is better. Let's pass those three because now we need to do optional cross. Looks like everybody's passing fully. East and west, north and south. No keepers, discards. No keepers. We did get a three. We got seven back and the six. We got lots of options here. One discard before we have to make a choice. We could do like numbers with fives or like numbers with sevens, or we could do five, six, seven and use this for joker bait. Oh my goodness, look, a pong. Seven, eight, nine or two, four. We really don't have to make a choice until we discard. So we're done with the Charleston. Now we're going to go into the pick and discard phase of the game. For this player, when you have this many jokers, you have to be aware even more so than normal about what is happening at the table, especially when it comes to considering your first exposure, because you're going to be potentially exposing a lot of jokers. Consider playing this concealed. That would be my first objective is to try to play concealed. If not, limit the number of jokers in the exposures. So that means picking the right hand. Anytime you expose jokers, you risk improving your opponent's hands because they can exchange any jokers and exposures. So let's see what happens. We're gonna start by discarding the South. We're gonna use this to mark whose turn it is. Nine crack, that's not helpful. One, two, very heavy pungs there. We have discards so we don't have to pick hand. We're playing either like numbers or consecutive run. If we can get wins, we might be able to play the one, two, three news hand under consecutive run, the concealed hand. If we can get red dragons and flowers, that also would be nice. Fourth hand down. If we can get a four crack and a five crack, we could play maybe the first hand. It looks impressive, but there's work to be done. Let's draw. Nine bam. Maybe we can do consecutive there or even here. That's too broad though, five through nine. The first quint is any four consecutive numbers. So five is too far off. Let's discard the nine dot. And let's just see what fills in. Up here, we would have to make a choice on that and I would not. I, I think they're probably best with two, four, six, eight. I would draw.
white dragon. There is a hand in here with an opposite dragon. Two, four, six, eight. Pair of flowers. We have one. Then we have a pung of twos. And then a four, six, and a second suit. We have a four. And then the matching dragon. Let's keep it and discard the south. This particular hand, we'd have to throw away a pung of fours. I'd rather use it. So let's just hold on and see what happens. Now we're going to draw for player one. Three dot. None of these are helpful. Let's discard that eight dot. North. There's the north for news for the concealed hand. We might be able to do that. Let's get rid of this eight dot that was just discarded. Another joker. They got another joker. Okay, five, five, seven. Let's, let's see here. Five, six, or seven, eight, nine, or like number. Okay, we have to choose either fives or sevens because we still have consecutive run potential with both five, six, and seven, nine, and we have like number potential with fives and sevens. Let's give up the five dot. I think it's a bit arbitrary at this stage. The conventions we need to use for the consecutive run quint is pair, pung, kong, quint. So this may be five, six, let's see, five, six, seven, eight, pair, pung. So five, six, then seven, eight, maybe. This would be the other way, seven, eight, nine, nine would be on the greater end of the sequence. So we would need pairs that we have a gap for. I think we should focus on five, six for that reason, because we could use five, six for pair pung. And the pair is what I'm most concerned about. So we have a little more wiggle room here than we do with seven, eight, nine. So let's give up the nine next. Let's draw three. Maybe we could fall back on two, three, four consecutive run since we have a gap. Let's discard the seven dot and draw. Now this player, they could quint, but that would expose three jokers. I think we should give up on the seven and focus on five, six, some kind of run. Let's draw. We got a two, two bam. We can draw up here. Now here we could potentially take that, but we don't even know what hand we're playing. I do not like to claim a discard for an exposure if I don't know what hand I'm playing. In this particular case, we wouldn't even be able to claim it for the first hand. And all the other hands are mixed suit and we might even do something consecutive. So I think it's too early to commit for them. I would draw. We got a dragon. Let's keep it. Let's discard this nine bam. There, there is a consecutive run hand that uses dragons. One, two dragon. This, we need a red dragon. Or we could do one, two, three, four green dragon. We have a gap of no four, but we'll see. We have a discard there before we have to whittle down. Let's draw. We got a one bam. That's clearly not in our range or suit. One crack. Let's get rid of these nines. Painful as it is. Three bam. Let's discard. Let's keep the six. Maybe we could do like numbers with sixes as a fallback. And let's discard the three bam. Up here, we can draw white dragon. Let's discard the six dot. I don't think this white dragon is going to be helpful.
We don't have any bands for a mixed suit option and we have no flowers. I'm thinking of the fifth hand down. Okay. Let's draw. Four, wrong suit. Four, now up here, we need to make a choice. We have a pung of fours. There's one hand in two, four, six, eight that has a Kong of fours. So if we take that, we're committing to that. Either that, or we could fall back to like numbers or something with consecutive run and a Kong. I think I'd rather stay concealed. We have no news for like numbers and we're missing the four crack. I would let it go. There's a three. Now we have some consecutive run potential in here. Two, three, four. Let's continue to discard these nine dots. I think we should go consecutive run here now. We've got lots of two, three, four, and flexibility since we didn't claim that four. Let's draw. We got the six. All we need here, Kong, Kong, ready to win. Let's discard six crack. Oh, okay, now here, we need to make a choice. Let's pong. We need to move on here. Okay, six crack. Here's your pair. We're gonna commit to the quint. First one, pair, pong, kong of seven crack, and then a quint of eights. Now we have a long way to go. Seven dot. Three crack, consecutive run. Let's get rid of the nine dot. Drawing for east. Six dot. Two crack, there's a Kong now. Okay, one, two, Kong. One, two, one, two, three, four, four dot. I think we should go ahead and give up on these here. The one, two, three with news, the twos are pairs. Let's discard the white dragon. White dragon. This is getting dicey for them. Let's get rid of the white dragon. There's only one more white dragon. They got a one discard. Seven crack. We're gonna Kong. This is risky. Seven, pair, pung, kong, quint. We have a long way to go with those. Let's get rid of that nine bam. Seven, bam. One dot. We might have to switch them to four, five, six consecutive run, or maybe something with two, four, six, eight if we can't get that white dragon. Five dot, four dot would be nice. We could do one, two, three, four. They got the eight crack. Oh man, that was making me sweat bullets. Let's discard the seven bam. Drawing four north. We just got through the second wall, we're going into the middle game now. Everyone should know what category they're in at a minimum. Here we're doing addition. We need that white dragon, there's only one left. Here we're doing consecutive run. Here we're playing a quint, consecutive quint. Here we're playing consecutive run. All three in consecutive run. Very flexible category.
seven dot. East. Seven dot. We need an eight crack or another joker. <laughs> Five crack, we don't need it. We got our pair there. Let's get rid of the seven bam. Five bam. There's consecutive. Three, four, five, four, five. Two, three, four, five. We can maybe use this for a two. Let's get rid of the eight bam. So we're focused on one through five. Seven crack, exchange please. This is the risk. We've got lots of jokers available for exchange here. So we're gonna use this in here and discard the two dot. They're one away from ready against a quint. Two bam, we've already got our twos. Pretty solid. Let's get rid of the north. We need an eight crack or a joker. Six crack exchange, please. Okay, ready to win. We'll put that over there. Discard the five crack. Ready to win on an eight crack. Now six, seven, they, couldn't, they could be playing another hand here. There's some consecutive hands this could go with. At least one, the second one down. So could be the quint, could be second hand down under a consecutive run. Let's draw. Nine, bam. Nobody wants wins. Let's get rid of the west. We're gonna draw for east, west, safe. Drawing for south, five, bam. They're really struggling with this one, two. It sure looks pretty. Can't do much though. They're pretty stuck. Two dot. Seven crack exchange, please. Thank you. All right, we can get rid of the nine band. Now we need to start making some choices. This four is kind of a straggler. If we did one, two, three, four, five, I don't know. I think that four can go next. Let's draw. Four dot. Eight dot. Nine crack. Ooh. Red dragon. Let's get rid of this four. There is an offsuit. Let's see. Red dragon. We would use this one. Or four four bams and three dots for mix suit, fourth hand down. This is not going too well for them. Let's draw down here now. Four crack. They're ready to win on a white dragon. Ready to win on a white dragon. Three dot. Joker bait. Let's discard this green dragon. Eight bam. Wrong suit. Two bam. Okay, now we have to make some choices here. Red dragon. I don't think this red dragon's gonna help at all. Let's discard that and just see what happens here. I think these are gonna have to go. I'm thinking one through five, if we can get one bams, there's only one out. Two, this would be a pung, this would be a kong, pung, Pair. I'm thinking the first hand under consecutive run for them. Four, 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 one. Okay, this player. Green dragon. We need a white dragon for our 10. 
three dot. Oh my gosh. Okay, one, 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 two, three, four. If we can get a bunch of jokers, we could put that with our fours and go one, two, three, four, second hand down. Let's get rid of this two. They probably should just switch to defense at this point. Let's draw. Red dragon. Ooh, that's pretty. It doesn't really work for that quint though. Let's draw. Eight, bam. Seven, bam. Five dot. Four dot. Three bam. Okay, all we really need here is a one bam, one crack. The challenge is that that is their pair. So it's gonna be hard to get, but they could pung. And then this would be the Kong. We don't even need to call it, or we could use it in here because we've already got that as the pung. We need a pair and then we need the one bam. So let's draw flower. Let's get rid of a flower. It's kind of end of the third wall, so it's still somewhat safe to get rid of the flowers now. So better now than later. Let's draw six bam. Let's discard six bam. Here, let's Kong and go for a pure hand. Pure means you have no jokers for a hand that can use them. Same. So we're ready on a white dragon and they have no idea what we're playing because there's only one exposure. When you have two exposures, you can try to figure out what, what your opponents are playing, but not with one. There are some exceptions depending on the card. Let's discard five, bam. Red dragon again. East, two dot, eight dot. That is the last tile in the third wall. We're going into the end game. At this point, players should decide if they want to switch to defense or push to win. Here, push to win. They're ready on a pure hand. They need a white dragon. There's only one left. There's a big old wall left though. Who knows where it is? Here, one, two, one, two, three, four, but we have no four dots and there are at least, I believe, two out. So they need jokers. They might consider switching to defense. Here, we're playing a quint ready on an eight crack or if we draw the seven crack, I don't believe it is out. So seven crack or eight crack might help them. And then here, we're, we need one bams. We're gonna draw for our quint player. Two dot. Red dragon. Nine crack. Three bam. Let's Kong. It is the end game, but let's just see what happens and get rid of this flower. We do still have joker bait, although they don't need it because we have this for the pung. All we need is a one bam to really make that work. Let's draw east. Exchange, please. Thank you. Four dot, one, two, three, four. Let's get rid of the three crack. We need to discard these bams. Three crack was discarded. Mahjong, Quint. Eight crack. Five, six, seven, eight. Pair, Pung, Kong, Quint. 
It is not guaranteed though, just because you have jokers, they struggled to get there. So this player was ready to win on a pure hand with a white dragon. This player came a long way and struggled the whole way. One, two, three, four, second hand down. They needed four dots and had a little joker bait there. This player, one. This player, two, three, four, five, needed one bams. There's one out and the pair's right there. I learned a few things with this game of solitaire. Number one, just because you have a plethora of jokers does not guarantee a win. Number two, forcing a quint is hard at times, especially when you have a plethora of jokers because you have so little to make your decisions on. In this case, I think it worked out. And three, when you have a plethora of jokers, your exposures are going to get picked at, so timing is critical. Consider the fallout when you make exposures with all those jokers. In this case, it played in their favor. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.